Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can add new digs in your failover cluster. I mean, if you have any existing failover cluster and you have available digs, like uh, I have three digs, one digs for witness quorum and I have two available digs for my failover cluster. This is my failover cluster. And if I want to add new additional digs in my failover cluster, how we can do that? So let me show you. At first, let me add new digs from my iSCSI server. So this is my iSCSI server. Let me add new iSCSI drive. iSCSI. I will add new iSCSI virtual digs. How you can configure iSCSI server and add new disk on iSCSI server, share this disk to the failover cluster i have already shown this video in my another video you can check this video somewhere here okay so this is my iSCSI drive i will add new digs so this is my iSCSI server and i will choose this disk this disk i have let me check i have available almost yeah, 50 GB available here. So let me choose this one. X drive. Go next. I will name it new disk. New disk. Go next. I have to mention size here. So I need maybe 10 GB for this drive. 10 GB. You can choose fix or dynamically expanded. For testing purpose, I'm choosing dynamically. Then I have to choose my target, which one is my target. So currently I have, this is my failover cluster. Let me show you. Failover cluster and the cluster IP, node IP is, let me check, it's 20. And this is my second node, 22. So I want to share this drive between these two nodes 20 and 21 so let me go back my iSCSI server so this is the first one iSCSI server I already configured okay Hit. done our new disk has been uh, shared here let me go back my node 1 node 1 at first let me check my digs. I don't have any digs any any digs here. Let me just quickly go computer management. Computer management. Go digs management. You can see there is a black one. This is unallocated. This is new disk. Which one? Like uh, we just. Uh, created from our iSCSI server from here so let me go back my first node so at first we have to make it online okay now it's online make it initialize disk okay now click here make new simple volume next size is fine the drive later will be E let me choose O you can choose any letter, drive letter. I'm choosing O. Go next. This is the name. Anything you can want. Tata. Data 2. Done. Now if you can check here. You can check here. Data 2 is here. Now let's go back your node 2. This is my node 2. Same thing computer management disk management scroll down this is the red one make it online okay, it's online okay now it's online let me check this is my new drive here i can see here but you see this is my cluster uh, iSCSI drive it's shared drive but 
when I add new drive, it's showing different. Like it seems like it's a local drive. So I need to make it shared drive. How you can do that? Let's let's go back your failover cluster manager. Go disk. Add disk. Now you can see here, this is the available disk here. It's showing here the disk four. This is my available disk. It's okay. Now it's showing offline, make it online. Fail to bring resource four. Why? Let me check. Okay, so this is actually on a node is different RDU2. I need to make it uh, different. This is my RDU2 is different node. I don't want to make RDU2 is on a node. I want to make it FL1 or FL2. So let me just double check. Assign to another node, another uh, role. I have to add SQL server this role, then press OK. Now bring online. Yes, now it's online and owner node is FL2. So FL2 is this one. Let me check. OK, which one is our disk? New disk is this one, disk 4. Disk 4 is our new. Let me do another things. Let me check role, SQL server role and check me the resources. Resources cluster four is online. Change drive later. This O drive. Okay, now it's O drive. Let me check now. Here you go. This is our new drive. Now it's showing up. I didn't choose the drive later. So once I choose drive later, it's showing up our cluster. But still it's not usable when you ever, whenever you create any database. Let me show you whether you can able to create any database on O drive. Okay. Let me quickly try to create a new database, new database, name it test 001 and I want to make MDF LDF file on O drive. Let me just click here. The O drive is not showing up here. E drive and F drive is showing up, but I want to make my database in O drive. Even if you want to create a SQL script, let me just quickly check here. Let me just choose data here. And F, same thing, E drive. Let me script out. And let me change the script, all the script. So I want to make create database test 001 test 001 and the MDF file name is this one and this is the location I want to make it O drive O O drive O drive let me quickly create a data folder here So it will transfer O drive, then data folder, then this is my LDF LDF file. Let me just quickly try to create and it's showing up cannot use O drive like this. We cannot use this drive because still this drive is not usable from SQL server perspective. We cannot use our new drive. So we have to change some, some configuration from failover cluster. Let me check failover cluster. This is my failover cluster. And if you check our role, 
this is my SQL server role let me just quickly check click here show dependency report you can see here so this is my disk existing disk disk 3 disk 2 and this is my disk 4 so this is not actually connected with our mapping so we have to map it so this position this uh, cluster disk should be somewhere here so it will be dependent on SQL server so how you can change these settings you have to just quickly click uh, click here select here and go resources and now check here SQL server simply just right click here go properties and go dependencies and you can see here as you can see here our three two ticks is added here so we will add new ticks here insert click here cluster ticks 4 click here now apply ok that's done now you can check again the report right click on the SQL server roles more action show dependency reports now you can see here this disk port is come here right place you can now you can use this drive from SQL server now you can see this is O drive click command completed so you can check here so O drive data and this is my MDFLDF file so this is how you can actually add new drive on your existing SQL server cluster failover cluster thank you